We're going to start recording again. Okay. And we're recording again. Welcome back. This is the socially appropriate version of our <laughs> I just realized, like, the entire last recording that we did was 100%. You know, the two of us just griping. I might just get rid of it altogether. I just realized. Yeah, maybe just scrap it. Eh? Yeah, I just realized I had to like edit like. We did. Edit. We did bitch a lot and play pretty bad. Yeah. No, I did really good at the yeah, end. Yeah. Okay. Though. This is us starting over. Yeah, we did really good at the end, and now we're starting over from a new beginning of goodness because we're all warmed up, right? You don't yeah, go on might, stage with a band might, without warming up, you know. Yeah. What I might do is just edit that last video and cut it down to maybe like half an hour or so. Yeah, man. Do the highlights. The highlights real. Yeah. Well, actually, I plan on doing that with all of them. Because <laughs> I mean, my plan is to have like at least four or five, like, at least five hours of uh, of recording. Yeah, man. So people can just leave it on and let it ride, right? Yep. Or just have like a, a oh, then also at the near at the very end, throw like a half hour one of just showing like explosions. Because I can explosions. I can upload more than like I can upload a video more than once into uh, my editing software. So my plan is to show like all the different like mechs getting destroyed. That then that's all it's gonna be. It's gonna be it's gonna be the Jerry Bruckheimer version of uh, of Mech Warrior. It's gonna be constant explosions. <laughs> I'm just. Trying to figure out what's going on for plans. It's, Becky doesn't tell me what the plans are. She just makes them, and I just go with them. <laughs> that works. Uh, Leaves a little spice in your life. Come on. Yeah. Uh, well, it's I don't know when she's coming. Like when she's staying the night or whatever. She'll just be like, "Yeah, I'm like for now. I just know at the moment that she's coming here before work. So I don't know if that means that she's also then going to come here after work and then stay the <clears> night <throat> or the morning and." And then stay the night Friday, then Saturday. E so I don't know, and then maybe Sunday? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. No idea. Alright, I'm gonna pull up where I can take a straight shot down the tunnel. Oh, looks like they're going water. Um, well, maybe. Or just three of them. I'm working my way around the cistern here. That's right. I use that actual term, sister. This turn. Somebody said culvert last match. The culvert. <laughs> wow. I was like, wow, culvert. That's like at least a three dollar word. Three dollars. <laughs> wow. So someone's using their word at the take calendar. Oh yeah, there's a couple of them over there. All right. Well, we can hold up and then flank. I'm just peppering them with missiles here. Don't. If you have any missiles, don't go after uh, Bravo. Roger. Wow, our Jenner has like gone all the way around our side of the map, eh? There's nobody over here. <laughs> <laughs> they might all be going water. All right, let's move up on their backs then. We're gonna go B3 and then come on their back, okay? Okay, um, give me one second. Oh, it looks gonna... like there's some action near the tunnel, though. Yeah, I just noticed the same thing. There's another light. Oh, it's a locust. Locust. He's like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna lead them in my direction. Oh, they see, they just saw him. Oh, there goes the locust. Oh, you're getting shot from the left, buddy. Quite, mm -hmm. quite. There, someone's shooting some auto cannon shit at us. There's a dragon right there. Oh shit! Gargoyle. Gargoyle. And I just got shot in the back by somebody. Oh, you. Fuck. No, it wasn't me. They was they. I got I got stuck. I was overheated. I couldn't move. Oh shit! I'm getting ah ah. Well, it's good that someone just narked that uh, that dragon because I'm getting my ass handed to me now from the water. Okay, so I'm about uh -oh. to die. <laughs> so much for uh -oh. that uh, that scouting Jenner, eh? Huh? Oh, I'm dead. That did not work. We should have waited longer. They weren't in the water. No, they weren't. They were all still at the base. Well, I got 89 damage out of that. And the missiles are still landing where I am. Well, shit. <laughs> Alright, so much for our vaunted return. <laughs> yeah. 
This is me tapping out. <laughs> and I will go back to the ready room and wait with a new robot. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to sit there and watch Bolt actually do something. Fuck. You can certainly kick butt and take names. Yeah. He's got a dual gauss Ilya. We're a, a Russian driving a Russian mech. What are the odds of that? This is kind of awesome, man. <laughs> da da, Ilya Muromets. Yeah. There's actually a, uh, it's actually a Mystery Science Theater 3000 episode that's about Ilya Muromets and his story. Yeah. Yeah. He is just. He's not having luck though. He's trying to take the arms off a uh, a dire wolf, and he keeps hitting it in the upper shoulder. Oh, now there's like five mechs on it coming at him. At least he overheated. Yeah, fight by his. That's the thing about his build is it runs cool. As long as you're calm and you keep shooting, it's a good build. Oh, he's hard to stay calm and, and brawl with the gases. He's good at it though. Yeah. And what he's doing too is he's going. He's he's got the the leg. He's just oh, he just got his ass handed to him. <laughs> Darn. Oh well. Not too shabby, sir. Not too shabby. So we didn't win it's with that right, one. That's all right. Oh, I had jump jets. I didn't even realize that. I forgot. <laughs> I guess that's jump jets. That yeah. Jump distance five point one feet. <laughs> there, so let the mech is lost. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, I can't pick this mech. I oh, might as well wait because I know he's gonna. Knowing Balt, he'll stay in there till uh, till the match is over. Because I've noticed he'll he'll play with one mech and one mech only. He pulls a ridge. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I like doing that too, though. I feel, I find I get in the groove better if I play the same one again. Yeah. Honestly. Well, I'll be right back. I gotta have a little. Shoot, doot, doot, doot. Yeah, same thing. I'm going to the bathroom. Okay. Select the mech is locked. Not anymore, bitches. Okay. Okay, so. while we're doing this, I am going to. Yeah, so, ladies and gentlemen, we, uh, <laughs> we did have a recording of a prior match. Unfortunately, I've got to edit it significantly because of uh, some stuff on there. So we are actually not going to uh, do much with it. Basically, the main the main thing we're going to do with it is, uh, well, edit. It's going to be part of the highlights. Highlights are good. Highlights are good. Do, 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 do. And I forgot where my back warrior is. There it is. In the meantime, let's see if we can update anything here. Go to our lights. Um, no. I'll be right there. What's that? Two thousand. <laughs> Might as well be. <laughs> Not you. Uh, da, 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 Seven thousand. No, All right. Seven, having a drink with me. Ricky, my roommate there, having some rum. I Tell like that I... we both like rum. It makes life easier. Tell him I said hello. Pass that good word on, yes sir. Or He's in the other they, room watching TV. So oh, nice. Or as they say on uh, Futurama, tell him I said hello. <laughs> tell, tell my wife I said hello. <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> the the neutral people of yeah. the neutral planet. <laughs> on the neutral planet, the planet, the, the color of the planet's gray. 
Like, yeah. <laughs> and they're all gray. <laughs> yeah. Tell my wife I said that episode. <laughs> like, oh. No, everything's just neutral emotions. Yeah. And uh, whenever something bad happens, it's always the aliens from Omicron per CI8. Always. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I am Lur of the planet Omicron per CI8. <laughs> wow, I have 54,000 XP on my 8R. Yeah. And 68,000 XP on my uh, pretty baby. And it just, yeah, it's useless now. <laughs> um, I'm just going through my different mechs here. Um, oh, I had 2300, I didn't realize. Uh, let's update you. I'm just going through my skills real quick here while you were doing that. I used an Atlas RS at one point. I wonder what that was for. At 323 XP, so it was only one match probably, right? Uh, 5,000. Oh, I can do the quick ignition on my King Crab. I've only got fast fire left on that one, and that one's maxed out. On my quad O, I've got fast fire, quick ignition, and speed tweak still to do. And then on my... Oh! I have officially deleted my B version of my... Uh, or mastered, I should say. I'm on the master level of uh, the King Crab B. I'm uh, what six? Uh, Good work. Very far away from me leading the um, twenty-five percent done there. One of four, and then the limited edition version. I'm only five thousand away from finishing that one up. Cool. I realized once you've gotten to the elite level and getting those four, the master. I mean, all you're doing is unlocking an actual module slot. It's just kind of like, eh, it'll unlock when it unlocks. I'm ready. Yeah, you might as well. It's just the speed tweak is the only one. Like for yeah. assault max, it's like absolutely essential. Once you get that, you can just like take your time. Exactly. That's what I've been noticing. It's just I get it. And then it doesn't like, matter on a medium or a light. You hardly even notice the speed tweak, right? But but on an assault, like you have to have to have it. Well, I noticed on the fire starters, it did pretty good. It bumped them all above a hundred. The ones I got it on. Oh yeah, well it's you. It's useful. It's just like not the end of the world if you don't have it. With, with an assault mech though, like with an atlas, if the best best speed you can get out of it is fifty eight, right? Like you're hurting, yeah. you can't keep up. Oh, bolts fiddling in the mech lab again. Yeah, we'll be here for a while. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I figure what. Oh, yeah. So speaking of the um, the live at, or the machinima thing. See, I was thinking it would be along the lines of the whole uh, your whole like, kind of like the the story you made up about uh, the Baron and everything. Sure, man. And, the, and but that's cool. Was, but kind of played it with a tweak where, um, you know how you said the, you made up the idea where he gets uh, kicked out of his like his planet or whatever because he, he fucked yeah, up. Yeah, he k gets kicked out of House Steiner. Yeah, for. Yeah. Uh... That's how he, he he's he's from the FRR, but he was a Steiner ambassador, yeah. and he got he got kicked out of the the Lyran court and had to go back to right. FRR in disgrace. Because yeah. I had an idea about that. The okay. idea I had actually was that um, to kind of pull in a bad guy was that he Ooh. actually gets like to kind of make a bad guy kind of intro in the beginning would be mm -hmm. get him kicked out, but in the end he actually didn't do anything wrong. But it was actually ah. this this clanner with this with this black mad cat that actually framed him for doing something. Hmm. Okay. So how can we fit that in the lore? There's not a lot of contact between the clans and the. Uh... Okay. So you'd have to make him a wolf clan because wolf clan with wolf dragoons were in the inner sphere before the clan invasion, and they were mingling with the uh, normal spherites. Yeah, because they were um, doing the whole uh, collecting information and whatever before they defected. Sort of, yeah, but they were also um, like the, the wolf or wardens, right? So they are like want the inner sphere to stand on its own feet yeah. instead of just conquering it. But they still want to take it over and rule it. They just want to rule it to its own benefit, kind of thing, right? <laughs> um, whereas the the crusaders just want to enslave every single member of the inner sphere and call them all free birth scum, right? So okay. uh, yeah. Um, so if we could make it work, if he was one of the wolf dragoons, but he was one of like the turncoats that didn't go with the dragoons when they went to the inner sphere. That's what I was like, thinking. He, he like. 
yeah, he was actually betrayed the dragoons. That would yeah. work perfect because then he wouldn't show up in the lore or anything, right? Exactly. So that's what I was thinking was he betrays them, kind of becomes like a lone wolf. Ha ha. Get it? Lone wolf. Ah. Mm-hmm. That ah. works. Yeah, yeah. And and maybe that's what we'll call the guy. He's just he's just the lone wolf. Yeah, man, because they don't really it. know who it is, right? Exactly. Yeah. They just know that he's a black mad cat, and that's it. And the person. All right, Mister Ridge is going to join. Yeah, and just make you know, give it like a, someone that you know doesn't doesn't talk, has no no verbal whatever, like the per, like like have the person like have a couple mechs, like on a four v one map, and basically have or five v one because one of them's going to be a camera. And then have them kind of all sitting around, kind of all powered down or whatever like that. The mad cat comes over the like over the hill and just bum 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 kills all four of them real quick. Cool. And then you know the Baron being the you know the last mech available comes walking over, mm-hmm. kind of like what the hell happened? And then mm-hmm. you know Davian shows up or Steiner shows up, whatever house he gets kicked out of, and they're like, "What the fuck is this?" Ah, I see, I see. That's a great idea, man. Yeah. Okay, I'm down with that. That totally works. Because it ends up being that the the lance he white the lance that gets destroyed has some, you know, has like we we'll figure. We, I, I know you and I can come up with some good good ideas. Oh yeah, that no, that's a great plan. I think it really works because it'd be like they're just like random scouts. We could pick random mechs that we don't normally use, to, so oh, yeah. that they're like randoms, and we could just get them killed off. But that's his old squad. And uh, there was only one left of the old squad that went back with him. So he could keep one of them alive but, like, legged. And nobody believes that guy when he said, like, he, they think that the Baron just legged him to make it look good and that they were complicit together, you know? There you go. And just do it, like, f- put, do it as, like, four lights or whatever so they're easy to wipe out real quick. Exactly. Yeah, they all go down hard and fast, right? Like yeah. locusts or something. Yeah, just, no, we can even use the trial, Max, the trial lights. Yeah, that works. Yeah. So it's like a light. Actually, what if it was instead of his own unit? What if it was a training cadre he was supposed to take care of? There you go. Yeah. Okay, my my headset's tangled. One sec. Yep. So I said to Ricky, I said, Ricky, you want to have some rum? I'm drinking by myself and I feel pretty bad. And he's like, Well, you know, my mind. Just Ricky likes rum, <laughs> and he's like, "If we's gonna be bored, we might as well be bored together, eh?" <laughs> there you go. There you go. That actually just gave me an idea. How about this one? He's part of a military exchange program between yeah, it's Steiner. Good too, Rob. No, oh, there you go. He's part of a military expeditionary force from the FRR, helping training ah. on House Steiner on maps ah. that were specifically designed and built in the FRR. So it's kind of like a training, like, hey, uh, now that you bought these brand new mechs, here's how you use them. And then this lone wolf comes up, shows up, and takes out all four. He comes over and goes, like, what the hell, they're all dead. And then, you know, his head, you know, the people that are in charge of the whole training program, they show up, and they're like, okay, hey, let's show us what these mechs can do. What the fuck happened? Oh my god, yeah, what, what, what? Yeah, all our guys are dead. This yeah, they're all dead, like, what the fuck? Yeah, that totally makes sense, man. And I figure yeah. all the, like, all the videos, half an hour is too long. I'm thinking something along the lines of, like, five, six minutes. So they're all quick little, quick little ones. Yeah, and then maybe, like, a, maybe, like, an epic two-part, ten-minute episode or something to close it out or something like Exactly, that. it's like a season, like, a season finale instead of, you know, being, like, a half-hour show or an hour show would just be ten minutes instead of five. Yeah, yeah, we can do it. That sounds great. Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, I'm in. I'm totally in, man. And I can do it from here. I can do my part right here. Exactly. I mean, no one has to be anywhere. That's the best part. Everyone can just be yeah. on the computer. Um, there was something else I was thinking. There's Mr. Ridge in his beautifully razzle, fraggle, fraggle, raggle, razzle. Wait, who's that? What is the is that? Razzle, <laughs> razzle, fatless? Yeah, fatless. Um... But yeah, I was thinking, you know, like, if, like it's, because, I mean, yeah, it's one of those things where it's, we can wake up our own music, because you're musically inclined. You and I can, Sure, man, I can play some tunes. Yeah. I mean, it's one of those things where it's, we can be completely self-contained and self-reliant. Absolutely, and, really and then you don't have to worry about copyright issues, man. Yeah, and there really isn't any, you know, 
machinima or anything like that associated with MechWarrior. Very, very little. And the little that is is like sort of sponsored by the game guys, so there's not a lot of fan base stuff, right? No, and then well, the other thing I noticed too is it's very sporadic too. Like there'll be one episode here and there, and then it'll stop, and then there'll be another episode here. And, and it there. won't come out for a long time, yeah. Yeah, and it'll be like there's like there's the one cartoon that you showed the one day, it was up, and then they oh, haven't geez. done anything else since. So my other yep. plan would be to send it up, like have it so that it you know it goes once every day, like Target once a week. Acquired. Once every right. week on say That's like perfect. a Friday, it goes out. Yeah, and make it drop always at the same time so it's consistent. Exactly. And also, like, half of the Machinima stuff that I see in the animated stuff is about the tabletop instead of about MWO. Yeah. So it's got a lot of stuff that isn't even in MWO, you know? Like Let's elementals and, yeah. like, aerospace fighters and, like, all sort of things. Well, I mean, later on, I mean, if we get skilled enough and we get popular enough, I mean, we can definitely add extra little things in there. Like, you know, I mean, I can't do animation or anything like that. But I know someone who does, and she would right. jump to the chance of doing something like a, a online, uh, you know, an online show or whatever. And I think that all the uh, the 3D maps of these mechs are available for free, so you could probably get them and manipulate them. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. New target acquired. So you could use us doing most of the acting, but if you had something more specific where you needed to use its hands or something, you could get her to model it. Oh, true. Yeah. I mean, you can probably do that in like 3D. Uh, the, I don't know if even 3D Max is even a program people use anymore. I don't even know. I I think you could use Photoshop for stuff like that. Target acquired. Yeah, or we can actually make it like a more of a, like a like um, I want. I don't want to say bit like pixelated, but like uh, give like it like a more eight bit sort of almost. Yeah, give it like a more of a cartoony look. All right, there's a whole lance to C5. Yeah, I just noticed that I just saw you, like, like flames. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, they got to be under ECM because I can't Acquire. see anything. God, I love these Timberwolves missiles when they fire. Everything is awesome. As you take the missiles to your face, everything is awesome. Oh, looks like Ridge is all by himself over there. Uh oh, I'm gonna try and pepper this direwolf with missiles. It's moving in. It's coming close. If there's anything that starts, oh. Timberwolf. I like how, because we're under ECM cover, they can't see either of us. So I'm just, they're all looking at, they're all going for Ridge with his missile, with, because of the Atlas, and I'm just like, yep, oh, missile to your face, missile to your face, missile to your face. Missiles for everybody. <laughs> They're all just like, okay. New target acquired. Well, they uh, they pushed Ridge back. Always makes me nervous when they push him back. New target acquired. I just overheated and I'm about to get smacked with an artillery round with the looks of it. Oh, well, I've been uh, pretty screwed up here. Oh, well, we've been surrounded. Surrounded! Yeah. Surrounded! Surrounded! Dead. Oh, now I've overheated because I've lost all my insects. Am I the only one left? 
That weather. Wow, I had like five clan mags running around me. <laughs> oh, vaults left. So, so basically, just nothing, nothing different. So he's got, oh, he's got a gridiron. He is sniping the hell it's out of that. Whoa. Perfect for him with the Gauss rifle because it's got that yeah. cooldown, right? And the Christmas tree and Happy New Year's. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, he's good with that thing, man. It's a good thing he's on our side. We actually need someone who's good at the good at the game. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's awesome. Okay. Well, obviously, we're not gonna win that one, so. Oop. That's okay. I got 385 damage. It's. Uh, I got roughly the same. 300. 20 something, I think. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, message from Becky is a smiley face. Okay. But yeah, I was thinking like, you know, like a like a machinima thing where it's, you know, comes out every, say, Monday or Friday. Probably on a Friday at like 4 or 5 o'clock, say, for example. But I have it come out every single Friday. Ooh. What happened to Ridge? That was perfect. Oh, Ridge crashed. Uh, oh, he said he had to head out. He'll be back soon. Oh, well, we still have many, many hours to play. <laughs> True. But yeah, I was thinking, like, do like, uh, like every, every Friday, say, at 5 o'clock, I figure you and I, with our attention to details and things like that, we could probably, like, smash out a, you know, a season one with, you know, all sorts of stuff all in, uh, you know, all in a matter of, like, you know, like a, like a weekend. We could, like, plan an entire, you know, who's going to do what, what voices and all that stuff. Ooh, that works. Yeah. Come up with a, come up with a storyline somehow. Like, I figured the whole first season would be about, you know, you know, it you know, starts off with, you know, him being, you know, framed for this, basically this wiping out of this lance, a training lance, and how Steiner... And then, like, so, for example, like, the first five minutes, basically, is this training lance, all kind of, you know, sitting around talking, you know, about, you know, what they're going to do and, you know, how they're waiting for, you know, this Baron of the FRR to come train them how to, you know, kind of come, you know, show them how to use the, the brand new mechs they bought from the FRR and all that stuff to use against Gavian or Karita or whatever. And, right, because the plans uh, aren't there yet, yeah. Yeah. And how they're, you know, planning on, you know, using them and whatever. And then this black mad cat walks up over the hill, just boom, 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 boom. Takes out all four real quick. And, uh, and then, boom, that's the end of the first episode. That sounds good. Second well, episode. then you maybe have the, ba the Baron crest the hill just at the end of the episode and be like, uh, yeah. red leader to red one, uh, I'm not reading anything in your location. Yeah. Red one? Red four? Oh my god! You know, like, or not, or not even that. It just kind of cut, right? It just ends with him over the radio saying, "I'm, you know, I'm, I'm inbound, etc., etc., etc." Oh, like, right, that would be good. Yeah. So it, just saying that like he's, you're getting he's the introduction come, at the end. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, yeah. you're getting the intro to the bad guy who wipes all these guys out and then just walks away. Yeah. Then you have the Baron at the very end of the episode, so you don't see the mech, so you kind of have an enticement to see the next episode. And then on top of that, mm. you you get the the emphasis of okay, here's the here's the bad guy, here's probably the good guy. So you kind of get a kind of like a one off. So you kind of get okay, who's good, who's bad type thing. That works, man. I'm I'm down. Yeah, my head's uh, working over ideas right now. <laughs> I can just see it now. You're just like, oh my god. <laughs> and then like this, then the second episode will be him finding the squad and seeing them all destroyed, and then finding right. you know, the footsteps. Like we'll we'll have the other the, the black mad cat like running in like in lines, keeping the you know to get its its footprints. And we need we need somebody with the black mad cat running ECM so that the Baron tries to run comms to call it in, but he can't call it in because he's being jammed. 
True. Right? Yeah, like, see that. Low signal. I can't get anybody. Right. Okay. I better follow them out. If anybody's just, left. Right. Any mech. Pretty much any mech. Just as long as it's on the other side and has ECM. Right. Actually, you know what would work really good is if there were like, um, of the four mechs, three of them got killed and one of them was wounded but ran off. And then the Mad Cat went after that one, so there were tracks leading away, so he had a reason to sort of stalk off, you know, and be like, True. okay, it looks like one of our, my guys got away, I gotta see if he's alright, you know, and that's and it why looks he like, left the location, right? Uh, and it looks like the Baron showed up, took it three, and went after the third one, or the fourth one. Exactly. Exactly. Because the Mad Cat will pick the one with the jump jets, was, you know, it'll just, like, it'll crest the hill, take him out, and then I'll just yeah. hit the space bar on it, and you'll just see the jets go. Quinn will jump back, right? Yeah. Yeah, and all of a sudden it's just like, okay, so now the Mad Cat's not leaving any footprints. So it's like, um, I I don't know, man. He's he hasn't made up his mind what he's doing. Sorry, one sec. He hasn't made up his mind what he's doing, man. So it's fine. Thank you, though, Ricky. It's cool, man. <laughs> Sorry, uh, yeah, Ricky was just gonna offer to take my boy Chad to the to the hillside store because it's oh. a little bit of a walk. Yeah, I was thinking something along the lines of, you know, like, the, that's the first episode, right? So, say, for example, in the first episode, you get the, get the four mechs, have one of them powered up, that's the guy that gets away. So, you have the four of them, one's powered up, I don't know, have, like, a raven or something, because it's quick and, you know, quick and easy. Mad Cat crests the hill, takes out three, and then, you know, legs the raven, for example. Raven gets in behind a building and and is able to kind of sneak away, have the mag attack kind of walk through the damage, the other three mechs, so you got all the smoke and whatever. Uh, Baron then shows up, or the Baron then on comms is like, hey, you know, I'm inbound, I'm going to drop in three, and then end of the first episode. Yeah, man. Then, like, in the second episode, it's the Raven being chased by the Mad Cat, he takes, just as, you know, like, what'll happen is, the Raven will be running, you know, basically you just hear someone, like, freaking out a little bit, like, you know, doing the whole panting thing, like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my yeah. god, oh my god. And then right, at the very yeah, end yeah. of the episode, as he's hiding, he turns the corner, and the Mad Cat's right there. Nice. And, the, and all the Mad Cat Well, it should actually just... pop tart up, it should, like, hop up and land on the hill and just be right in front of him, right? Like, just yeah. jumps up there, you know? Yeah, like, he hides hey, there's there on Say what? Oh, uh, there's a friend of mine that plays under the name of Hans Davion. No. Oh. But, uh... Oh, Daedalus? You mean Daedalus? No, Hans Davion. Oh. But also Daedalus. <laughs> uh, okay. Um... But yeah, at the very end of that episode, it ends with... Basically, the Mad Cat cresting something, like, kind of coming out of surprise. Surprises the shit out of the Raven, and just Alpha strikes with the lasers. And then all you do is, all that all we do is, uh, as, like, a... It fades to black, and then you hear the explosion sound, like, when a mech blows up. Something like that. Yeah, man, that works. And then episode three is the Baron showing up on the ground, like, what the fuck happened? He sees the, these footprints leading away from the, with the Raven. And he's like, okay. And he leaves trying to look for the Raven. Well, and, you know, in the process, Steiner shows up and they're like, well, what the fuck happened here? And he's like, I don't know. He incriminates himself, yeah. He's like, I just, he's like, I showed up and they're, they're you know, they're blowing up, blah, 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 blah. But, you know, they're like, well, you know, Target something happened. Acquired. Like the, like he had a, you know, they they'll bring something up to incriminate him, right? Acquired. Actually, we could we could work the original storyline in too, and be like, the reason the Baron is late is he was out with the with the Ar Katrina Steiner, the Archon, uh, with her cousins, uh, for the night. And it's not that he got caught with them; it's that he was late because he had a hangover and he left late. Target. And so that's he was being like. Um, derelict of his duties but not in a sort of a shitty way and it's just sort of a yeah. irresponsible kind of way right and because he doesn't want to tell people where he was and why he wasn't there on time right like... yeah because ah, he's a gent right so he won't give up the fact that he was with the ladies because that'll blow their shit right 
Exactly. So he's so uh, like, where were you? And he's like, I, I, you know, like the fact that he's being I, all well, I was, I slept in and I was late. Yeah, and he starts getting all weird, right? Yeah, that's perfect. Then he then incriminates they, himself by that. Exactly. And then they're like, okay, well, what the fuck? Like, you're not making sense. You're telling us a couple different stories, and then boom. New target acquired. New target acquired. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah. And then how Steiner turns around, kicks him out of uh, Steiner territory. He goes back to the FRR in disgrace, and they kind of go, "What the fuck?" And they uh, they get rid of him. Yeah, they can't they can't take his title, but they they take away. Uh, his uh, his holdings on the major planets, and he only has the moon left. Exactly. <laughs> uh, and and the moon is like one of these moons where it's it's a complete useless moon. So it's, it's so it's a make a big insult. Yeah, it's just a little shitty. It's the smallest of his holdings, like his small hold, right? Got like a little moon base and a little refueling station, and not yeah. much else. And the entire time he's had it, he's completely neglected it. So it's like horrible. <laughs> Like, he gets there and he's like, what the fuck is this? And they're like, well, this, you know, you, you're our Baron, you're supposed to take care of us. And you never did. So right. now it's come back to haunt you. Yeah, the small hold is like, all he's got left, so he has to do what he can with it, right? Target destroyed. Actually, I'm gonna try my little sneak around here. When you're there, I'm gonna sneak around G4 into the little pass that I found earlier. That I didn't even know that was even there. <laughs> I, I'm surprised that I guess it, like I I you you can only use jump jets to get in there from the looks of it. But I mean having having a timber wolf up here would really fuck shit up. Target acquired. Surprise, motherfuckers! I'm still gonna run out of ammo. If, if this is the case. That's right. Target destroyed. Wah! Surprise, motherfuckers! <laughs> it's a good. It's a, it's my favorite of the Warhorns. Honestly, it's a good one. I love this little spot up here. Like, if the if you get the in the right position, you can just sit there and just fuck people up. Oh yeah, man! I can see everybody from where I was. Hey, we tied. Nice. What did we? Yeah, we both got a uh, match score of 35. Not bad. Yeah, you did more damage, but I got a kill. <laughs> mm-hmm. At your blood. That's cool. Yeah, I like that little... Blood for the blood god, skulls for corn. <laughs> I like the whole... What? It's a good one, man. It's, like, way better than the clan ones that Wait, are all right. Did you just quote 40k? I certainly did. <laughs> <laughs> it, was it was literally that one moment where I was like, wait a minute. He yeah, man, I used to have a whole chaos army, man. <laughs> Did Jonas just say something that made half sense? What? Half sense. <laughs> words. Okay, so I made $2,013,681. I'm going to buy my uh, advanced Zoom. And now I have $13,681. <laughs> I went from rich to poor in three seconds. Very rich to very pole. Po, on the po, right po, side, po. though, I now have on my king crab, on uh, I can't remember on Chompy, I've got two Gauss rifles, two ERP PCs, still got a standard 260 engine. In time, that'll go up. I got uh, three, four, five, six, seven tons of Gauss ammo, ERP PC cooldown, Gauss rifle cooldown, and the van zoom. Sounds like it's tricked out. May I just say, Chompy is hungry. Chomp, 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 chomp. Go get him. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Let's kick some ass. We all got super range, so we should try to stay at range. Okay. Bolt's got a Gauss. You've got twin Gauss. I've got ERPPCs. Like, we can hit them from a thousand plus. No problem. Sounds good to me. Get up somewhere high and hard and just bomb the rain. Isn't I love be... when I when I put my thunderbolt up on an edge somewhere that's high and just start throwing lightning. It does feel like being a god. You're like, <laughs> take my lightning, take it. There's nothing you can do. <laughs> Trying to be Thor. Yes, <laughs> I need a big hammer. <laughs> just throwing the thunderbolts. Friggin' right, man. Thor has some cool powers.
like in the comic books, like his yeah. set of powers is actually pretty awesome. Like he doesn't fly; he throws his hammer and hangs onto it. True, yeah, right? you, like we, that's kind of awesome, right? But he can spin it like a helicopter and just sort of hover too, right? Yeah, I'm trying and to then, figure out uh, like, what's what's got the power then? The hammer or him? Well, see, he's a god and has all the normal powers of a, of a, a Norse god, right? But in addition to that, he has these objects that grant him greater powers. So, like, he doesn't need the hammer to summon lightning, but yeah. he uses the hammer to summon the lightning as a focus, right? Uh, okay. um, but the power to summon lightning is inside Thor. His super strength is inside him, but the belt that he wears doubles it. He wears a belt. So without his belt... He can fight against um, the Hulk, and the Hulk would win, calm, right? With his belt, he can beat the Hulk, calm, but the Hulk, when he's angry, can beat Thor. The hell do you say with calm the belt? For? Well, because Hulk is stronger when he's calm, or uh, stronger when he's angry than when he's calm. Oh. So a calm Hulk can be defeated by Thor with his belt of strength, but an angry Hulk can't. Choppy. Choppy's hungry. Nom 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 nom. See, I love how I can walk up a half story tall ledge all of a sudden. But then when I get in front of a tree trunk, I can't walk over the fucking tree trunk. Right. But I can walk. Well, apparently, up... they had destructible trees at one point, you know, where you could yeah, actually crush them down. But I guess it was hard to map and it's just extra objects that. They had to locate and stuff. I think they should forget about having actual object location and just do what they used to do in the old mech assaults where there'd be like part of the mountain would have a targeting point and if you shot that it would make a landslide. True, yeah. You know, so it'd be just like everything would be a little bit trapped. Like in the cities there'd be buildings that could collapse and block the way and like stuff like that so you could actually like it wouldn't always be the same map. You could run around and build a little barricade in an area and make fields of fire and stuff. True. Like that would be awesome. And it wouldn't be hard to do because you wouldn't have to map the whole board. You just need to map like 20 locations, right? Yeah, just have it on specific maps, yeah. Yeah. Well, it wow. could be on every map, but like different things, right? We have an entire lance that just went around right around their uh, their flank there. An entire, oh. like, we, we have four lights that just booted it around the edge. So we better go up the the saddle and support them, eh? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Because now they're, okay, I'm gonna go. they're backing up in their B5 now. They're taking on a griffin, and it's two Jenners, and I can't see what else it is. I'm I'm getting close to the 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 way up to the saddle. Yeah. New target acquired. Now there's a griffin and a timberwolf over there, and they're pulling back now. And everyone else is going through the tunnel. So what it looks like is going to happen is they're pulling these guys up through the, the kind of like the like the, the north end there, and around it. And then everyone else is coming through the tunnel, and they're going to hit them from behind. Roger that. I'm around C5 coming in their back. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm in D4. <laughs> I'm still I'm uh, I'll I'll be there in a you know a while. I wonder, <laughs> I wonder what the uh, the hero version of the uh, the king crab is going to be. Good question. Wasn't there like one that was thinking the clan killer or something like that, or the clan buster? Yeah, the clan buster. That's it. Yeah. That will probably be the hero. Yeah, absolutely. Target acquired. I have a sneaking suspicion before I even like fire Target off a round. Like, yeah, there everyone's acquired. going that way. Fuck it, I'm gonna double back and go through uh, C3. So I apologize for this part, this fight, because I don't think I'm going to get off a single round. <laughs> like everyone, they're already getting pushed back towards me. Like, I'm going to try and get into C3 and kind of sit on top of everyone. And try to snipe a little bit with my Dugaus. I just like the fact that I can fire off one round and kill somebody. I still can't believe that match we had a couple nights ago. <laughs> I, I get into the battle, <laughs> everyone's dead. Happens. And I'm just like, okay, well... Yeah, like, what the hell was the point of all that? And then I, uh, I, look up, I look up and there's that fire starter and it's just like, click! <laughs> it's like, hey, I got 60 damage! And one kill. <laughs> all in one shot.
Oh. Oh. Target acquired. Target destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I shot once. I've shot once. But you killed shot. somebody. And I killed somebody. Good shit. It's a blackjack. Whoa, what happened there? Friendly fire. I don't know, but I'm since I'm behind them, uh, everyone's chasing after you guys. I just uh, screwed up a uh, a blackjack, and I got a. Uh... Okay, you want you want to play this game? I can play this game. <laughs> Shit. Why do I keep doing that? Oh, they got me. I got a Hellbringer that wants to do, uh, that wants to come after me. Yeah, okay. I got surrounded by four clan guys and taken apart. Look at this stupid Hellbringer. That's, uh... Like I'm stuck behind a building. Can't believe we're gonna lose this. We were doing so good. Damn. I may have the tying kill in a second. All right. I think I have to take five, my friend. Yeah, no problem. But I will be back later for sure. Okay. Okay, have a good time in the meantime. You too, sir. Right on. Talk to you, buddy. I saw you running. No. <laughs> this is actually kind of fun. Come on. Where are you? Come on, ten ten. New target acquired.
<laughs> that was insane. Ah, six hundred ninety-five or six hundred seventy-five damage, three kills, two assists. Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what happens when you get outrun. And my heart is pounding, my adrenaline is pumping. I'm going to put a cat here for the moment. And we will be back again with another one hour uh, video. Be right back. <laughs>